In 2016, the State of Education published a study that lists Marquette University as the least sexually healthy college in the U.S. However, the Marquette Wire noted in 2016 that this study was based on flawed metrics. In 2021, Marquette University has programs like bringing in the bystander that educates students on sexual health in the university. Caitlin Clancy, wellness and prevention peer plus educator, in charge of bringing in the bystander program, talk to MDU-TV about what she expects to get out of this program. I am a two-time survivor of sexual assault, so I hope that people can understand that we have an organization on campus that is there to listen and be support and connect individuals in similar situations. No one on campus is alone because we are here um, to help give you a voice and make you comfortable um, in your recovery. Katie Atler, Coordinator for Advocacy Services and Sexual Violence Prevention, talks about what could be improved and plans for the future regarding sexual health in Marquette University. Violence prevention education is constantly adapting and changing. We are always learning about new research, new best practices, and so in that way we are always looking to improve what we're doing. What we want to do to further improve is to continue to access resources that are on campus, um, information that we already have to continue to inform what we're doing. With no plans in mind to change their sexual health programs, Marquette University is confident about the steps they have taken. From MUTV, this is Manuel Gonzalez.